Happy afternoon. I am back live this week. I have a really cute craft DIY that I want to share with you guys for um, for fall. This is actually a fall craft, but you could probably make it Halloween based if you want to decorate it for Halloween. Um, but this is a super easy um, thing that I'm going to show you and I um, am going to put the wreath on a sign board okay and I'm going to put these sign boards in the shop where you just get them plain there's no stencil so it's not really a part of a kit the only thing that you would get from the sign shop is hey Kathy how are you um, is the actual board and the trim if you add it but these are going to be they're created for using them for whatever it is that you are interested in like putting with it okay and this is a sign that i would say is like a layering piece or something that you would kind of put with like maybe a shorter sign or a smaller sign and kind of put them together hey diane how are you guys doing so i wanted to come on here really quick because we just got home picked the we had the kids at school and so we're home and i just felt like I wanted to share this earlier rather than later um, because you know how that goes. And so I thought, why not? I need to do it really quick. So this is that easy. So this is the board that we're going to put it on. And you see how it looks shiplapped like that? It's got the grooves in it. So it has this shiplap look. And then what we're going to do is embellish the shiplap sign with a wreath. And so I've just, I've had this. I don't even know what you call these, like the branchy wreaths. I've just kind of had this. You can see it's like not even a perfect circle. Mine's kind of a little out of, it's not perfectly round. So I'm going to add some of these um, Dollar Tree vines. You can see here, I'm going to wrap these around the wreath just to kind of give it those fall-like tones. I have that little leftover twig um, that I'm going to stick to it. We're gonna paint the board, um, this shiplap, we're gonna paint the shiplap board and trim and we're gonna put it all together. So, it's real easy. Um, you guys know that one of the first things I do to any project is stain the trim. And I'm gonna stain the trim now with you guys so you can see it. This is the, the trim that's going to be added to the sign. I always do it first to kind of just have it done and out of the way. And I'm getting to the end here of my favorite stain of choice, which is called um, Old Barn Living. And this is the color called Weather. It's kind of like a milk-based stain. And I just love this color. I use it all throughout my house. And it kind of coordinates all of the pieces that I use in my house together because the, they're all stained the same so if you are getting into like where you have stained wood projects like this then I totally recommend you stain things like similar colors of stain if not the same stain okay so I'm just gonna get these stained really quickly let's see hello Jessica hey girl <laughs> um let's see Caroline Kathy, hi guys, make sure um, you share their sprinkle of the video because that always helps the page. And it just, it makes my heart smile. We do some giveaways sometimes. We contact you if you won one through Facebook and then we get your information and just send it to you. Kind of low key, so um, it's easier than coming back and doing a live and just to say we appreciate you sharing the information or whatever. And so if you're just joining this project, I'm making is a uh, wreath sign. And I know I'm on here a little bit earlier and that's just because I got a couple things going on this evening and I know myself, I won't come on if I get tired. <laughs> so I am doing it earlier. Um, I've been wanting to create a sign like this though for a long time. Um, I've seen where people create like a sign and then they change the wreath out. And I'm gonna actually show you how you can do that. I'm making mine more fallified. And the reason is, is because I don't plan to have the sign out year round. 
I actually plan to create, which I will share on the page, um, a Christmas one and just leave them as is. But what I'm going to show you is that you can actually create it to where you can make it year round and you just change the wreath on your shiplap board. So yeah, long time no see. <laughs> just saw her a couple minutes ago, so. All right, so here we go. Um, painting the trim, it takes not that long to do, but sometimes when I'm in it, it just seems like forever to get the color on there. And I just use one of these little foamy brushes and I just dip the stain and then I drag the stain along and it almost kind of dries that stain in place. So, um, super easy, super fun. All right, so let's do the side here. And then while I'm finishing in this, this up, so I want to show you guys, this is a shiplap board. It's actually just a solid piece, but it's actually cut here into grooves to have the shiplap look. So I want to ask you a question. What color would you paint the shiplap? Would you do the traditional white or would you do something different? Now I'm going to be making a fall wreath with this brown wreath that I have here. And it's just something I had in my stash. It had a, like a sunflower on it and I took it off. What would you do? Would you do white shiplap or a different color? And I wanna see, I already know what color I'm going to do. Um, and it's just because it's the look that I want that goes with like other things in my house and I'm just going to layer it. But I'm curious if you guys would do the traditional white or if you would do a different color. Let's see. Hey, Donna. Hey, Ann. Hey, Amanda. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in forever. Guess what, girl? That car line is still rough, but I don't always go in the car line, so <laughs> as you know. Um, let's see. What else we got going on? One more board, guys, and we've almost got all of this trim. It is... It doesn't take long, I keep saying that. It doesn't take long to do it, but I feel like sometimes when I'm live, this part of it is takes forever than it should, like takes longer than it should. So, sorry about that, bear with me. All right, almost done. One down, or three down, one to go. And make sure you do all six sides when you get the trim. This, And just in case you guys don't know, you can purchase the trim on any of the side kits, you can get your own, or you can just have this included cut to your sign for you, and then you have it ready to go for this. Now, this uh, shiplap board is going to be new in the shop. It's actually not in the shop yet, um, but it will be, so you can actually order it. And this is, ooh, this is a larger piece um, sign than what we have for the other signs or other sign kits. This one is about 18 by 24. It's not quite 24, it's a little under, and it's perfect because it's still not too big, and you can actually, um, it's you know, put a whole wreath on it, a larger wreath on it. Now maybe not like one of those super huge fluffy ones, but like the wreath we're creating today, you could totally use it for that, and I'm gonna show you a way that you can interchange the wreath on the shiplap board, okay? So the shiplap board is acting kind of like what your wall would be maybe if you don't have a shiplap wall and you wanna add like a shiplap element to your home, then by having it in a sign, which this is a fairly decent size, you kind of get that look or you kind of get that, oh yeah, that style in your home. And like I said a moment ago, this is a sign that you would probably most likely layer. And, and what I mean by layer is like put one and two together, kind of like offset or asymmetrical. You would layer this with a sign that maybe has words, you know, like hello fall or I don't know, whatever. I'm doing a fall one today, but you could change this out. It could have Merry Christmas. It could have, you know, East, whatever season or whatever holiday. And I'm going to actually do a few of these in some of my lives coming up over the next couple of months, I'll throw in a shiplap one so that you can see the seasons that you can put with it. And I'm probably gonna paint them a variety of colors, but you could totally do one and do a universal color 
palette with it and then you change your wreath out. So that's the whole concept behind this sign. So it's not just one season, even though I'm making it for seasons today. So did anybody say, you said white traditional shiplap, white, white, everybody says white. I have a random question. Is that the dream box? Yes, it is. It is the dream box behind me. Let me see if I can move my camera a little bit just to kind of show you. I love my dream box. So I've never really done this on a live. Here is like one side and then doo -doo -doo -doo, it's, it's pretty wide. It's like nine feet wide. And I just put some things up top up here, like, I don't know, crafty things up there that I've painted, like I painted that globe. And I absolutely love it. I took over my dining room and turned it into my craft room. Um, because we don't, we're not formal. We sit at the, we have another kitchen, like table area. And so I claimed this space. Um, we put a wall up actually, the ship lab wall up at the beginning part of the year, like right into quarantine. <laughs> and so I have the French doors and now it's, it's my space and I can hear like some parts of the house, but the kids should be doing their homework right now too, by the way. We'll see if they are when I get done. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys said white. Surprise. I'm going to do orange. And I know you're probably thinking, what in the world? But I promise, just bear with me here. Um, it's going to look good, right? Like in my mind, it's going to look good. So I want you to trust me, okay? This is just an acrylic paint. I'm going to brush it on here. I did a thin little amount on purpose. I don't want it to... Um, be too much, you know, because sometimes too much paint, then you don't know what to do with it. Um, and so I'm just getting this pumpkin orange color acrylic paint onto my shiplap board. And I know you guys are probably like, oh, why in the world would she do orange? Just trust me because it's going to turn out good. Now, yes, if you are doing a sign, like if you're going to get one of these boards, I totally recommend doing it white totally if you were going to do it all season okay i totally recommend you do it white and then change your wreath um i already said that i was going to show variety so obviously i'm not doing this one white but i just want to be clear if you're planning to do an all season um board then yes by all means do like a white or even maybe like a black a contrast or a light gray, um, something like that to show, you know, that's me, like a, a, a tone that will be for all year, okay? Um, but I, like I said, I'm doing this one fall tones, Halloween, you know, season. So I am going with an orange shiplap. And I know you guys have never seen that before. And you probably think I'm just crazy for pouring out this orange on here, but I, you gotta, you gotta believe me here. You gotta believe me. It's going to look good. Okay. I, at least I think it is in my head. I don't know. All right. So we never know, right? We always have a good idea and then, um, it doesn't turn out, but I, I have faith in this project. Okay. All right. So I gotta be careful. For some reason I have some of the uh, sponge scuffing up here on my board. So let me just kind of get that covered up. All right, and I'm going to just let this sit to the side and dry. Let me get a little bit more there while we work on our wreath, okay? All right, so what do you guys think about my orange ship left? Are you digging it or are you kind of like, thinking I'm crazy. What do you think? Orange shiplap. Yes? No? And I have like a little knot here that happened. You see that? Let me see if I can get a, um, this sponge brush is not really working for me. So let me get a, a paint brush just to kind of help that knot out a little bit where it's, it's smeared. I don't know. I think it's just kind of in the wood. So that's just probably going to be and then the little paintbrush helps me get the full crack crevice here. Because this is a board that's been kind of cut to give you the shiplock effect. 
It's not actually shiplap on a board. I mean, you could totally create that, but it would be very, very heavy. So this is a sign, so we don't want it to be so heavy that it doesn't hang. Yes. I'm done with school. Okay. Look, say hi. 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 This is my little buddy, Eli. Hi. All right, go finish writing your I, I That's what I did. Oh, you did? Okay, can you read, and I'll be there in just a minute. A couple minutes. Okay. I wish I, I want to stay here. Okay, well, you got to be quiet, though. Don't touch the paint, all right? Can I help with something? Yeah, well, I'll, get, I'll find a job. You want to help me cut my twine? Um, Maybe? Okay. okay. Wait, we're going to put a little bit more paint here. Painty, 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 painty. All right. And then we're going to let this dry. So let's put it to the side. Let me make sure I get all my smooth out edges here. It will put a dirty spot on there. I know. Well, that's part of the wood. It's not a dirty uh -huh. spot. It's like a knot in the wood. Uh -huh. You saw my knot in the wood. Okay. So here's the orange shiplap. What do you guys think? Are you digging it? Yes, no? You think I'm crazy? Tell me in the comments. He's so cute. Yes, he is so cute. <laughs> tomorrow. Let's see. I don't know if you're in that one. I got to find out who's all going to that. Let's see. Hi, Janet. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Denise. Good to see you guys. Thanks for joining me. All right. So I got my little helper here. Leave the puppy alone. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye, so now we've got, oh, now we've got our wreath. And what I said we were going to do was, will you open that up for me right there? We're going to take these, um, Dollar Tree mm. garlands right here. Okay. And thank you so much. We're going to, here, why don't you go through that away for me. We are going to wrap it here around our wreath. This is just to kind of add the beady, I don't even know what these are. These are like little um, berry garlands or something like that. And they're kind of falling apart a little bit. They're from the Dollar Tree, so they're not like all that. You can probably find them, leave that alone. You can probably find them at your um, craft stores, uh, like Hobby Lobby, Michaels. You could probably still find them. I don't know if they're still at the Dollar Tree, but we will see. All right, give me a little bit of room. All right, so now I'm just going to take this and just wrap it around. Let's see if I can do that um, until I run out, pretty much. And I'm hoping that I can get all the way around oh. once. And it's just to kind of give it that pop of color. This particular vine has red and orange in it. So it's going to help with that whole color thing. And I'm just kind of going with it. Leave that right there. He's really into my craft. Okay. And we're going to, yeah, there we go. I got it around once in like a quarter. So I'm just going to just let it kind of, this is wired, so it's kind of easy just to kind of take the end and poke it in there to the sticks. That's the beauty of this. So see, it's a little, can you guys see? A little bit of subtle color added there to my wreath. And then hopefully by adding, this is a green one that I had. If I had to choose this again, like if I was planning on it a little better, I would probably do two of the orange and red ones. I would probably not do a green and orange, but it still works for the fall colors. So that's what we're going with. No, it, yeah, go throw that one away in the big garbage. Okay, thank you. So here we go. And it's almost kind of looking, I mean, you could do this for a Christmas one. You could do Christmas lights instead with like the LED lights. You could totally wrap it with some lights. I'm just thinking Christmas. I'm getting all the Christmas ideas in my head. I only have about two or three fall craft projects left to share with you guys before I like go full Christmas. So I have Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, Christmas, Christmas on the brain. All right. So here is my wreath. That's a little bit better. Uh, two, two of those little Dollar Tree ones actually make it a little bit better. And I apologize. My wreath's kind of been squished. It's like almost an egg shape there. So we may have to kind of work with <laughs> our lot. Yeah, it's like a lopsided a, circle. A very, a very, very, very big chicken egg. Yeah. All right, go I get know. your library book. I still Go get that. 
Can you read it to Jackson? <laughs> He's excited. All right, so I have two of these little twiggy things left from just a random like garland thing that I got. I actually got this from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna see what it looks like kind of added into this. Let's see here. This one is wrapped really tight. Might need to get the scissors. Um, I was talking about the um, dream box. Somebody was asking about that. And I wanted, I need to tell you, they do have a sale coming up. So if you're interested in getting one, I would kind of wait and wait for the sale because as we get closer to the holidays, they tend to be real good what they offer. All right, so I think with these little branches, what I'm going to do is just kind of um, put them like down here in the bottom. I know you guys can't see because I've got the camera light and then the sunlight is beaming through. So I apologize for that. But let me see here if I can't wrap these branches into it and just add a little bit more color here with my wreath and I'm just laying this in there guys I'm not really adding anything else wait Lily okay so here we go let me show you oh it's not perfect you may have to tuck what I liked about this one is it had a few of those same little berries on this that match the berries that are from the Dollar Tree. So, see there? Oh, that one's falling down again. I may have to tuck that one in there. Um, or find some wire to kind of help secure these pieces more down in all of the parts. So, let's see what I can come up with would just tack it down for right now. Kind of, I'm just kind of weaving it in the branches here just to see if that will help these be a little better. Okay, so what do we think? That's a little bit better, right? Just a little bit of that fall sprig. Don't stand there, Lily, because you're gonna shake the camera. She's sorry, guys. All right, so there's that, okay? And let's see, it looks like our shiplap board is near dry. It's not completely dry. It's still a little cold, wet to the touch. But here's what I want to do. So there's two ways that we can do the wreath to the board. And I'm going to give you two examples while I am attaching the trim, okay? Because the trim is pretty much um, dry and secure. So let's go ahead. I'm going to use the airstrike gun. And I think I linked this in the description if you're curious on what this um, airstrike thing is. But so what it is, is what we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to attach my wood trim so you guys can see that here. Okay. And there's two ways that you can do the wreath. The first way is you can just, um, oh, am I going? Okay. I thought my battery was dead. You can, um, do it with a hook, or you can actually do it with um, ribbon, which I need to lay that down on the side to get a better, there we go, much better. All right, so let me get the other side on, then we will get our wreath on there. All right, might be better if I do the one side first. And then, oh, there we go, much easier when I lay it. All right, let's do that. And now I got like a little twine on my foot. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let me hold that into place. No, Sarah, Eva, no. Don't mess with that. In a minute. Okay. Hold on. Let me get this attached, okay? Okay. All right. They're so busybody after school. I tried to give them some extra homework. It didn't work. 
All right, so we're gonna attach the side trim. What do you guys think about the trim with the color orange? Are you digging it or no? Do you like it? Leave me a note in the comments, or tell me in the comment if you like the trim and the shiplap together. Well, I add the last piece of trim. You can kind of see my little wood knot there. It's kind of showing up. It's a little more on the darker side. We could probably um, put the, uh, what do you call it? Um, we could probably put more paint on it, but the wreath may cover it, so we will see. We will see. All right. Wait. Done with that. So that's the easy part of it. So we could do it either way, up and down like this, where my little knot is, we're gonna use it. So here's our little wreath, okay? And so yeah, I could probably, it's like right in the middle, that little spot. I could probably position it to where it doesn't show or later come back with some more paint. I'm not really sure. So there's two ways you can add it. Number one, you can get like the clear little command hooks and put your little command hook there and then just hook your wreath on. Like you would hang it like on your wall or something like that. And if you get one of the signs like this and you use the white paint, you do like a white shiplap, you can totally um, change your wreath out year to year. Now obviously I did the orange shiplap, so I'm going to make mine be a permanent wreath to this sign. Um, and that's just because I wanted, I want to do it that way. I want it to stay. I change up my decor every year and I bring out different signs or different pieces. So, um, normally I would say do like the white shiplap and change out the wreath. But for this example, I just want to show you with ribbon the way you can do it. And I'm just going to use a simple Dollar Tree, um, burlap ribbon. You could make a bow with this and attach that as well to your wreath. Like you could add a little pizzazz to your wreath if you want. Um, or not, totally up to you on how you customize it. Let me see, where's my scissors? They walked off. Um, so for this one, I think what I'm going to do is just loop it through and let's see if I can position it because I want to know about how much I need to cut. So you definitely need, this is something that you would need to measure. Okay. And then once you kind of have that, let me lift this up. You can kind of see how that's working. Okay. And then I've got it kind of positioned where the reef kind of is laying pretty decent. Okay. So I'm lining up my my ribbon and all I'm going to do to secure this is with the nail gun to the back, okay? You can totally hot glue it. Um, I'm just nailing it. So it's secured into the wood and it's, I've got like a one inch nails and a one and a half inch board. So now that's what I have. And then like I said, I would layer like another sign with this, you know, and put like happy harvest, hello fall, you could even put this with some Halloween decor, like however you want to do it, okay? Um, so what do you guys think? Let me see. I thought I could probably make a quick little bow to go with this and I'll show you what I think about. Let's see if I could do two little loopies here maybe. I'm not sure if I could do do like that. Let's see. Yeah, I could probably do like a cute little bow in the center. What do you guys think? Before I do it, bow, no bow? What do you think? Jessica says cute. Tammy, hello Tammy. So I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like the simplest part of it with no bow, especially if I'm going to layer it. What do you guys think? Maybe we leave it without the bow and we call it good, I think. Yeah? 
I think so. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I will put this on um, display with some other signs that I have. I will take some pictures of it and post it and show you how I actually layer this look. But remember, you could easily do this with like a white shiplap or a light gray. You could even do like a dark shiplap, whatever goes with your home decor, like navy or black, and then do the lighter trim color like we did here, and then do a changeable wreath. So you could have a fall wreath, and then you could put like a black vine wreath for Halloween, change it up for Thanksgiving or back to the fall, and then for Christmas, and you could put one that has like the pretty eggs on it for Easter. It's like unbelievable possibilities if you do like a neutral color shiplap, or you could be like me and do a different one. So I have another version of this that I want to share with you guys in a Christmas version, which I will be um, showing here in the next couple weeks. We'll start with some Christmas crafts because I cannot wait. Um, and so look for that. And then I will get the shiplap board and the trim pieces. If you guys want that, I will have that listed in the shop in the next couple of days. So you can easily get a board that's shiplap ready and it's easy and it's not as heavy as actually building shiplap and putting the shiplap on the board. It's already like cut for you. So it's very, very easy to do like that, okay? All right, guys, well, that's all I have for today. I will see you all next time, hopefully maybe tomorrow. I'm gonna try, if I don't come back tomorrow, we're gonna shoot for like Saturday, either morning or afternoon, I don't really know. I gotta see what's going on with Saturday. But um, I do have a couple more fall slash Halloween crafts and like some sign kits that I want to share with you so that I can definitely move into um, Christmas. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.